Don't shoot, but... <laughs> I fucking knew it! Please accept my most <laughs> humble apologies. Mind it for me till I get back. It's not even... <laughs> <laughs> You only get one shot, babe. <laughs> I'm so lucky that my coach is training all the right keys. Most people haven't even heard of D major. D major? <laughs> yeah, well, my range exceeds that. <laughs> No gremlins in sight. <laughs> Thanks, Emil. You're a gem. <sighs> Jack, I don't think you've thought this through. Fuck me. Look, it never happened. I'll see you in the morning. I should probably get started. I have another job at six. Busy little bee, aren't you? I'm sorry? Are you? Because I can't help but wonder what gave you the impression that cozy little chats with my hubby are in any way appropriate. April, I hope you don't think... Oh, don't flatter yourself. Keys. What do you mean? I'd like them back, please. We won't be requiring our tardy services any longer. You're firing me. Because your husband has a wandering eye, that is not my fault. He wouldn't look twice the likes of you. I mean, did you even finish school? As opposed to going to college purely to snag myself a rich husband? You haven't a clue about my life. I pity you, I genuinely do. <laughs> Save your pity for someone who needs it. Keys, please. Tell you what. You keep that little bucket of yours. Hold a severance package. Can I pity you now then? Let's reset. When you said you wanted to meet, I thought that could be a really special moment for us. You know, it's our six month anniversary. I found the ring, Brian. Did you bring it here today? Was that your plan? create a special moment, an opportunity? The answer is no. Are you breaking up with me? Because I wanted... Because of your arrogance. Because you can't just assume that this I... This is cruel. Anna, this is really bloody cruel. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry if you got the wrong end of the stick. I'm sorry if you thought that this was something more. I'm sorry I get it. You... I get it. No. I just wonder, do things have to be so hard? Look, these past few months with Mommy, it's not been easy. It's been brutal, let's be honest. But, God, I hate to even say it aloud, but you and I both know she hasn't long left. Oh, I just think this could be our chance, you know, it's an opportunity, a changing of the guard, it's a chance to do things differently, an easier life for all of us. So you mean? Well, I, what's so wrong with that? Jesus, Una. 
Your father be turning in his grave. He heard you talking like that. Don't. Dad's long gone. I'm sick and tired of holding on to how things used to be. This bloody farm. It's a millstone round all of our necks. Can't you see that? I don't know what you want me to do. Ed's never going to sell. It's a life I told you when you're born. Born to it. Yep, yeah, you've said. What about what I want? Hmm? You know, when Ed's out with the cattle, who's inside changing catheters and mopping out bedpans and watching my mommy fade away to nothing before my eyes? Look, Una, you're right. It isn't fair, Ed being left everything. Farming is... It's a man's world. Maybe the whole world still is. I don't know. But it's not just about Joe's memory. It's my father's memory too. I wasn't born into it quite like you and Ed. But my father was a hired hand from generations of farm labourers. He worked harder than any man I ever knew. But I never saw him proud of him the day he walked me down the aisle to marry Ed. And I knew what he was thinking. One day his daughter, his grandson, would be a farm owner. I'm really sorry, Una, but there's a bigger picture here. Ed and I are never giving this life up. Sarah Cleary. Hi, thank you so much for coming in to see us today, Sarah. I'm Kate Bursford, International HR, and this is our local manager, Angus Gill. Sarah Cleary? Cleary's my married name. Right, yeah, of course. Um, how long are you married? Four, almost five years now. Do you have any kids? Don't answer that. I mean, you, you don't have to answer that. Can I speak to you in private for a minute? Mm -hmm. Coffee? We're due a mid-morning espresso toast. Would you like some coffee? No, 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 you're grand. Honestly, I'd be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> you can't ask for that. Look, and just... you can't ask a female candidate if she has kids. That's discriminatory. Look, I wasn't asking to ask the lawyer. Okay, I, I was asking it's me. Great. This is a conflict of interest. The fuck do you think you are doing? <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Sergeant Jerry Harper. Are you for fucking real? What? Have you any idea what you've just done, you fucking muppet? I haven't seen my wife and kids in 16 weeks. 16 weeks I spent budding up the scumbags like that go there. Just wouldn't get me foot in the door and finally get a leader where I'm my cattle's hiding now. And just my look some off-duty culty gobshite like you happens to come along and stick his nose in where it doesn't belong. There's no finally fucking poise for the meat. Stupid bastard, you fuck! You're NSU. Whoa, 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 calm down. I could hardly have known now, could I? I mean, it looked like... Like, whoa!
Did you get him? Are you sure you're ready? Gimme! <laughs> That's some good shit, man. <laughs> <laughs>